Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually a fall tutorial using all Mary Kay products and a few new goodies that I just, just got my hands on, some eyeshadows and some lipsticks. So I'm very excited. I haven't done a tutorial here on my channel in a long time. I usually post all the tutorials over on my Instagram and then I keep like reviews and daily stuff here on my YouTube, but I know you guys really like seeing one brand tutorials. So I thought I would put a Mary Kay one together specifically for fall so you guys could see that. So I hope you guys like the video and if you want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching All right guys, just jumping right into the video So as I mentioned in our intro that we are going to be doing a full fall makeup look using all Mary Kay products There's two products that aren't Mary Kay I just don't have a bronzer from Mary Kay So I needed that and then I actually don't have a highlighter from them at least not one that I can find So those two products so disclosure those will not be Mary Kay But everything else is all Mary Kay so I'm super pumped about that so I'm just going to dive in. I'm actually already primed. I just used my regular Mary Kay, I think it's the Time Wise Primer on my skin, and I'm going to jump in with one of my favorite foundations from them. This is the Matte 3D Foundation. I absolutely am obsessed with it. I do have a full review, so I won't go into too, too much detail on it. So I've recently been really enjoying applying my foundations, like kind of like dotting it on my skin and then just working it in with a brush. Um, I don't know why, but that's just the way I've been liking it. <laughs> so I usually just dot it all over and then kind of start going in with my brush. And then whatever is left on my hand, I kind of just pick up with my brush and then just start working it in. For anybody wondering, I am in the shade Beige W180. I love this shade match with my complexion. I think it works like perfectly. Um, in the summer months, I remember when I first reviewed it, it was a smidgen too light, but now I'm losing my tan as we get into the fall months. So this is definitely more of my natural kind of no tan skin. I find this foundation is not overly matte. It is matte and does last all day, but it's not like overly matte. And then I also find that it's really easy to blend out with a brush. It also works really well with the beauty blender, but I've just been loving brushes lately. And lastly, I also find that this gives like a nice medium buildable coverage, which I really like in a foundation. Moving on to concealer, you guys know this is like one of my absolute favorite concealers of all time. This is the Perfecting Concealer and I'm in the shade Light Beige. I also have some of their under eye corrector here, so I'm gonna put this on just a little bit first. This is just going to cancel out any blue tones that I've got going on, which I have a lot right now. So just going to dab this on and then put my regular concealer on top. Also going to highlight with it a little bit. So on my nose, corners of my mouth and my chin. And then I'm just gonna use my foundation brush to also buff that in. I've been doing that and I've don't see any issue with it whatsoever. I'm gonna take whatever is left over on the brush after I dab it, blend it in under my eye and just kind of run it over the lid as an eyeshadow base. It just blends like so easily. I don't, never had a concealer blend out so nicely, like so effortlessly, effortlessly. Barely have to put any pressure on the brush too, which is so nice because your under eye is such a gentle area. All right, I'm gonna go in and set it. I just have one of my uh, powders from them. I am in the shade Beige One. It just looks like this. It's kind of one that I can put into palettes to travel with, which I really like. So I'm just gonna grab kind of a precise brush and just press this into my under eye area just to set my concealer in place. And I'm also going to run it over the eyes. This does have a little bit of color to it, but nothing too intense. So it won't really cause any changes. And then I'm just going to take a larger powder brush and just run it all over my face really gently. Okay, so as I mentioned, I don't have a bronzer from Mary Kay right now. So I'm just going to go in with my favorite Hoola bronzer. It looks like this. It's just a very classic terracotta warm browns bronzer. I really like it. This is just really going to help bring color back to your face because when you go in with your foundation, it really just evens everything out to one color, which is not really natural looking whatsoever. So 
using a little bit of bronzer is just going to obviously help sculpt her face, but more so I apply it just to bring a little bit of life and color back to me. I also make sure to run it down the chin, jawline, and already I'm feeling like, okay, I'm looking more alive, which is nice. For blush today, I'm going in with, this is one of my absolute all-time favorite blushes. This is the Mary Kay Baked Cheek Powder in Kind Heart. It is absolutely beautiful. This is what it looks like. I also obsessed with the packaging. So cute. So I apply it to the apples on my cheeks and then I bring it back. I blend it back right into kind of my ear area so it blends in nicely with my bronzer. So this product here is from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Glow Highlight Powder in Precious Petals. I'm just going to be using this to highlight a little bit. I actually was super surprised that I didn't have a highlight from uh, Mary Kay, but I guess I don't. I don't know how that's possible, but I'm just going to grab this on a fan brush and just apply it to the highest points of my cheeks. I also bring it above the brow and just kind of circle motion. Before we dive into the eyes, I'm going to do my brows really quickly. I realized right before I started filming this that I'm actually all out of the shade that I like in this, but this is the Mary Kay Precision Brow Liner. I have dark brunette, usually I just like brunette. We're gonna go in with this anyways for the purpose of the video. Hopefully it's not too dark. Nonetheless, when I do have it in the right shade, it is like my everyday brow pencil. It is so good. The only downfall is that it doesn't have a spoolie attached to it, but that's okay. I forgive it for that one downfall because it's so good. Yeah, this is a little dark, but it's okay. We'll just have a really intense brows today. There we go. I do something pretty simple with my brows. I don't go too heavy or too intensely because as you can see, I do have pretty prominent brows without anything going on. So I just kind of have to fill in the blanks. Just, I'm very, very blessed. Also have to make sure that they're even and all that jazz, which is kind of a pain, but usually I don't struggle with that. So now we're going to jump into the eyes, but first I wanted to show you the two new palettes that I got. So I got eight new shadows. As you guys know, the Chroma Fusion shadows are some of my absolute favorite, but I got some new shades. So these four are brand new to me. Um, one, The first one is just like a really pretty sparkly pink. The second is a kind of like a rosy magenta then we have a shimmery gray charcoal gray and then a matte black which i'm very excited about because i don't think i have a matte black okay and then this palette i'm super excited about this is such a stunning palette so we have kind of like a nice kind of beige tone then we move into a pink shimmer a blue shimmer and then we have a nice just like matte brown which i don't have this kind of shade in my collection currently so i'm very excited about that so we're just going to dive in and i know that this formula like i will link the full review on this formula it's such a good formula if you haven't tried these yet i highly recommend them they are amazing so good so i'm just going to play around and let you guys know like what i what i choose and stuff like that okay so first i'm going to start off with the shade toffee and just kind of spread that all over the eye all over the lid just kind of like setting it setting everything in place getting it ready okay moving on i'm going to go jump in i'm actually going to start with a shade cinnabar this is one of my favorite shades see how pigmented it is but it like blends out so easily okay i'm then gonna take the shade golden peach which looks like this. It's so, so pretty. And apply that all over the lid. Oh my God, I'm super excited for this color because it's really pretty. Okay, so really, really love that shade. So pretty. I'm gonna move on to kind of deepening up this look a little bit with the new mahogany shade. Very stunning shade. I'm feeling this one's gonna be super pigmented. So I'm just gonna start packing that onto the outer V. Just start deepening up this look a little bit. Just going to switch brushes to my fluffier one and just really make sure everything's seamless here. I've used this before. It is such a beautiful shade. So I'm gonna grab that instead of the blue. Sorry, blue. 
gonna go in with the emerald and I'm going to start packing it on my lower lashes yes this is pretty I'm gonna jump off camera pop on some lashes and then be back to show you kind of how I'm gonna tie it all together it still needs a little bit of blending so I'm gonna do that too Okay, so I just finished popping on my lashes. I'm really liking the way that the look is coming together, so I'm going to finish it off with some lipstick. I got two new ones from Mary Kay. Um, I have the Tenacious Taupe, and then I have Spice of Life. I really like Spice of Life here. I'll actually swatch both of them for you guys. So, so this is Tenacious Taupe, and then this is... I already forget. Spice of Life. I'm going to mix both of them, actually. So I'm going to start with a little bit of Spice of Life all over I really like the way that these lipsticks smell and then just put a little bit of the tenacious taupe right in the center and kind of just mix it into the outer edges of it just to kind of give a little bit more neutral tones to it all right guys so this is the final look I hope you guys like this all Mary Kay well mostly Mary Kay product tutorial especially with some new fall pieces for from their collection uh, as you guys know I'm a huge Mary Kay fan I will actually link my full playlist of all Mary Kay reviews I try it my best to review a lot of the larger items like foundations brand new eyeshadow collections like those kinds of things um, but if you have any requests for specific items please leave them down below I'm always happy to do them because I am obsessed with Mary Kay and I know you guys a lot of you guys that follow me really like Mary Kay as well so let me know down below if there's something specific you want to see but otherwise this is gonna wrap up this quick tutorial I hope you guys liked it thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe and of course I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys